is Mary Oliver's hummingbirds. The female and two chicks, each no bigger than my thumb, scattered, shimmering in their pale green dresses. Then they rose, tiny fireworks into the leaves and hovered. Then they sat down, each one with, a, with dainty charcoal feet, each one on a slender branch and looked at me. I had meant no harm. I had simply climbed the tree for something to do on a summer day, not knowing they were there, ready to burst the ledges of their mossy nest and to fly for the first time in their sea green helmets with brisk metallic tails, each tooled wing with every dollop of flight drawing a perfect wheel across the air. Then, with a series of jerks, they paused in front of me and, dark-eyed, stared as though I were a flower. And then, like three tosses of silvery water, they were gone. Alone, in the crown of the tree, I went to China, I went to Prague, I died and was born in the spring. I found you and loved you again. Later, the darkness fell and the solid moon rose like the white pond, but I wasn't in any hurry. Likely, I visited all the shimmering, heart-stabbing questions without answers before I climbed down. Have a lovely day, everyone. Short Order Cook by Jim Daniels. An average Joe comes in and orders 30 cheeseburgers and 30 fries. I wait for him to pay before I start cooking. He pays, he ain't no average Joe. The grill is just big enough for 10 rows of three. I slap the burgers down, throw two buckets of fries in the deep fryer, and they pop, pop, spit, spit, pssst. The counter girls laugh. I concentrate. It is the crucial point. They are ready for the cheese. My fingers shake as I tear off slices, toss them on the burgers, fries done, dump, refill buckets, burgers ready, flip into buns, beat that melting cheese, wrap burgers in plastic into paper bags, fries done, dump, fill 30 bags, bring them to the counter, wipe sweat on my sleeve, and smile at the counter girls. I puff my chest out and bellow, 30 cheeseburgers, 30 fries. They look at me funny. I grab a handful of ice, toss it in my mouth, do a little dance, and walk back to the grill. Pressure, responsibility, success. 30 cheeseburgers, 30 fries. <laughs> the Lake Isle of Innisfree by William Butler Yeats. I will arise and go now and go to Innisfree, and a small cabin build there of clay and wattles made. Nine bean rows will I have there, a hive for the honeybee, I live alone in the bee loud glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow, dropping from the veils of the morning to where the cricket sings. There midnight's all a glimmer, and noon a purple glow, and evening full of linnet's wings. I will arise and go now, for all night and day I hear lake water lapping with so low sounds by the shore while I stand on the roadway, or on the pavement's gray, I hear it in the deep heart's core. And just by E. E. Cummings. In just spring, when the world is mud luscious, the little lame balloon man whistles far and we. And Eddie and Bill come running from marbles and piracies, and it's spring, when the world is puddle wonderful, the queer old balloon man whistles far and we. And Betty and Isabel come dancing from hopscotch and jump rope, and it's spring. And the goat-footed balloon man whistles far and wee.